Hi, I'm Deepjani Mitra. I am a program manager on the SharePoint team. Now, SharePoint News is allows you to create visually beautiful content really easily that contains dynamic information and is easily distributed across Microsoft's apps and experiences. Organization news is a special kind of SharePoint news. It's the authoritative news coming out of your organization. How is it different than other kinds of news? Well, when organization news is published, it is distributed broadly to all employees news feeds in their SharePoint start page and their SharePoint mobile app. And no matter where that news post rolls up, whether it be on the start page, in the mobile app, in any news web part across the internet, it has a special visual treatment behind the site name that indicates that this news is authoritative. Let's take a look at how it works. So here we are on the leadership connection site. This is the site where Contoso employees come to connect with the leadership at the company. Now this site is a source of organization news. Let me explain. When a news post is published on this site, it is distributed broadly to all employees in their SharePoint start page and their SharePoint mobile app. And no matter where that news post shows up, it has a special visual treatment behind the site name, similar to what you see here with the highlighting, that indicates that the news post is authoritative and draws the audience in. So in this scenario, I'm a member of the corporate communications team, and I want to create a new news post announcing a hackathon for North America employees. So all I need to do is click on new and then say news post. Now you can see that SharePoint provides three out of the box page templates and I can click in to get a handy preview of what that template entails. But the corporate communications team has also been able to create custom templates for this site, as you can see up here. Page templates are a great way to enforce a consistency in look and feel across organization news. So in this case, since I'm announcing a hackathon, I'm going to go with the company initiative template and let's go ahead and create that news post. So here notice that a new news post got created with web parts already there, a layout already there, and with placeholder content. Let's now dive in and flesh this out. First, I'm going to give this news post a name, North America Hackathon. And next, I'm going to replace the placeholder banner image. So to do that, I can click on change image, and you can see that SharePoint gives me a number of different sources here from where I can pull my images. In fact, one of the big advantages of using SharePoint News is that you can get your images from so many different sources, tell your story in a really visually compelling way. So you can use stock images. Microsoft recently acquired thousands of beautiful high quality images for you to be able to use entirely royalty free throughout your internet. Of course, you can use web search. You can use organization assets. These are approved assets from your organization that any author of a page or news post can use. You can upload from OneDrive, from, it, from this site, from your computer, and from a link. So in this case, we're going to use stock images. And I'm going to search for computer. And I like this image for a hackathon, so let's select that. Great. Next, to fill out this text web part. So, of course, I can type directly in here and SharePoint provides a number of different formatting options, but I have already drafted up my text in Word. So all I need to do is go and copy it from there. Paste it right in. And notice that all of the formatting carried right over. I also have an image in my file browser that I'd like to bring into this canvas. So let's go ahead and pull that up. This is the one and I can drag it and drop this right here. And this has generated an image web part for itself, which is great because I actually want to move this image to the right of my text. So all I need to do is say edit section, change this to a two column section, and then I can drag and drop this image to the location of my choice. And also I have the option to resize this image to my preference. Here we have a people web part and I'm going to specify the hackathon contacts here. That's going to be Megan, 
and Alex. And finally, I want to provide some additional resources for the reader of this news post. Um, so to do that, I can use our wiki linking capability that allows page authors to bring in other pages and news posts in just a few keystrokes. So let me show you how you can do that. Um, you need to use the standard wiki linking syntax, which is open brackets, open brackets. This intelligently suggests some content to you. You can type to filter and just like that, it's linked. Let's do that again for another post I want to add on here. Great. And so now the content of this news post is ready to go. However, I don't want to publish this news post till the CEO has announced the hackathon at her North America town hall. And so to do that, I can leverage our page scheduling capability. You can go to page details and you can see there is an option here to toggle scheduling on. Here I can give it the date of the town hall, which is June 5th. Give it a time 11 AM so that the news post goes out concurrently with the announcement and notice that the post news button up here changed to say schedule. Also recall this is a hackathon for employees based in North America and I can use audience targeting to ensure that this news post is highlighted to the right audience. So you see that you see there is an audience property here. I'm going to put in the O365 group for North America employees. Great. So now when this news post publishes on schedule, it's going to show up for the right employees throughout the intranet. So let's go ahead and click on schedule and soon I get the confirmation that this news post has been scheduled to publish at the date and the time that I specified. By the way, I also want to point out that once this news post is published, you can come in here and share this news post by email so that employees that live and work in their inboxes also find this news post. Next, I'm going to go over to another site. This is the Controso News site. So this site brings together news from across the internet. You can think of this kind of like an employee's one stop shop for company news. And on this site home page, there are a number of news web parts that you can see right here. I'm actually going to go into edit mode to show you how these web parts have been set up. So this is the first news web part on the home page. You know, it's always above the fold employees coming to the site are necessarily going to see the content that's in it. So Controso corporate communications team really wants to ensure that the content in here is managed and curated. And so to do that, they've leveraged our organized capability that you can see here that allows you to pin specific news posts to specific locations of that web part. We have another news web part over here, and this is still, you know, important news, but perhaps tier two news. The source for this news has been set to select sites and you can see three sites have been selected to serve this new web news web part and leadership connection is actually one of them. So this means that when that hackathon news post gets published, that's going to show up here pushing an older news post out. But I also want to scroll down and show you that this web part has audience targeting enabled. And what that means is that when an employee that's part of that North America group sees this web part, they are going to see the hackathon news post here. An employee that doesn't belong to that group is not going to see that news post. They are going to see news posts that have been targeted to groups that they are a part of. We have yet another news web part down here, and for this one, the source has been set to recommended for current user. Now this means that no two employees looking at this news post is going to see the exact same news posts. The news you see here is determined by the sites you work in, the people you work with, along with organization news. And by the way, this is a great place to see the visual distinction between organization news and other news. Notice that that news that's coming from the leadership connection site and the landing, which are two sites that serve organization news, have that special highlighting behind the site name, whereas the other news posts do not. If you'd like to learn more about information architecture, governance, or even how to train folks in your organization about SharePoint, you can go to docs.microsoft.com SharePoint to learn more.